Right now, along with a few biologists working to monitor bird life, we are the only five people on St. Matthew Island in Alaska. It's 200 miles north of the next closest island, isolated in the middle of the Bering Sea. By some measures, it's the most remote wilderness in North America. We're on a month-long assignment to film the McKay's bunting for the first time. It's this snow-white songbird that nests nowhere else on Earth. We found them breeding in upland parts of the interior of the island, where fields of volcanic talus provide plenty of rock crevices for them to nest. Some were also nesting on cliffs along the coast, overlooking the Bering Sea. It's amazing to see such a rare bird inhabit most of this island. I'm struggling to really process how lucky I am to be here at all. It's pristine. Black cobblestone beaches. Wild landslides turning over ancient soils. And tundra ridge lines beckoning you to see what's beyond them. We've been filming nesting Pribilof rock sandpipers and watching them herd downy young across sedge valleys just hours after they've hatched from their nests. We've set up a blind in the middle of a colony of crested and leased auklets. And I'm surrounded by the sounds of their laughing and croaking calls. These remote islands are safe havens for breeding seabirds. They're places where they can find protection and build nests in the rock crevices and ledges, while staying close to these incredibly nutrient-rich waters that allow them to rear young. Even as a young kid, I knew I wanted to work with birds. But working in wildlife and conservation film was never on my radar before the Young Birders event at the Cornell Lab. For me, being a student at that first Young Birders event in 2009 is what really opened my eyes to that opportunity. That event really showed me a meaningful way that I could use my passion for birds and my interest to contribute to their protection. It sort of became the dream job that I never knew was even an option. And I'm really grateful for that. Thank you.